director Aparna Sen, the filmmaker and writer in Kolkata, was interviewed by the Enforcement Directorate a couple of days ago on uh, her uh, information that she could provide on the Sharda Chit Fund scam. Now, the Sharda group also had a media house, a publication house. Aparna Sen was the editor of their Bengali periodical, Parama. Ms. Sen joins us on the show tonight, live from Kolkata. Uh, Ms. Sen, I want to first ask you uh, if you can give us a sense of how that questioning went with the Enforcement Directorate. Well, um, it was very pleasant. They were very respectful and very pleasant. They thanked me for coming forward to help. It just took a long time to write down the statements. That's all. Okay. The, the, the fact that they're looking at how the money, uh, the Sharda Chit Fund uh, embezzled from its investors and what role everybody they employed had in it, uh, do you fear that, that you could be in for some more scrutiny as, uh, as far as it comes to this investigation? Look, if they, I, I don't think so, but if they feel that they need to ask me any more questions, I'm ready to help because I, I do want uh, the perpetrators of this uh, affair to be punished. Okay. Uh, you know, you became the editor of this, uh, this uh, magazine in 2011. Uh, what made them approach you? Because many people have said that the Sharda... 2010. Uh, Shard 2010, right. Okay. Well, 2010, this, Okay. Yes. All right. Many people say that uh, everyone the Sharda Chit Fund uh, group was involved with or employed, many of them had connections with the Trinamool Congress and so therefore uh, the political connections make this even more controversial. Your comments on that? Well, everyone, everyone knows that my politics has always been issue based. In fact, after the Kamduni affair, I protested against the Trinamool government at College Square in Calcutta. Okay, but do you and have... our magazine even carried... Uh, yeah, your magazine carried, go ahead. Some, uh, some critical, yes, even uh, carried some critical articles. Okay, but there were the CEO of the media operation, for example, Kunal Ghosh, a Trinamool MP, he's now in jail. Do you have apprehensions of, of uh, such, such things happening to you? Absolutely not, because... I was not. In, I wasn't a director in the company. There were no money transactions that were made through me. I was just the editor. I was a salaried employee. I didn't have any shares or anything. Nothing. In fact, it was in my contract that uh, there would not be any money transactions through me. Okay, so Ms. Sen, given the way that this entire scam, so to speak, has unfolded in West Bengal and the links to mm -hmm. the Trinamool Congress, what do you think uh, should happen and what kind of questioning should happen of the state government as well right now? Well, I think that uh, the uh, CBI should have their way. The enforcement department should really go about their business. They're trying to do a thorough job, I think. Uh, because they've even called me, they've asked me everything about, uh, you know, whatever I knew, uh, whatever I could offer in the way of information I did give them. Uh, so I think that they're doing a thorough job and uh, they should be able to unearth something. I hope, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Do you think that they should also question the Chief Minister directly? Well, I don't know. If they need to, they should, yes. If they need to, they should. Uh, given the fact that there are Trinamool MPs who have been involved with the group, do you think there is some basis for that? Look, this is very difficult for an outsider to tell. It's, it's, it's very difficult. I wouldn't venture to comment. You wouldn't venture to comment on that. Ma'am, the, the periodical you were uh, the editor of, Parama, that was also shut down all of a mm -hmm. sudden. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Oh, absolutely. Yes, it, in fact, it was really rather drastic the way it was shut down. Um, we, got, um, we got an email on the 13th of April. I remember it was a Saturday. And uh, many of us hadn't received uh, payments, salaries for the last three or four months. Uh, and uh, we were all, very, the whole team was very upset. But we carried on bringing out the magazine because, you know, your readers expect you to do that. And... Uh, then suddenly they gave us this uh, declaration via email on the 13th, that's Friday, 
and uh, it was a it was a Saturday, sorry, and uh, they said that it was everything was going to be shut down with effect from the 14th, which was a Sunday. So, so, Mr. That's when I mean, this, that was it. When this happened, did you not have any sense of what was going on, the Ponzi schemes that this group was running? While you were an employee there? No, we didn't know. Yeah, I was an employee there. Right. I, I found out about the chip fund business later. First, I thought that it was just a, a publication house. Uh, and then I found out about the chip fund business. Then it was too late to quit because there were many people involved in the team. A lot of, uh, in fact, a couple, husband and wife, uh, who were working there. And if I quit, it would all come to a stop. And all these people would be out of jobs. So um, we couldn't quit. I couldn't quit immediately. But I, of course, didn't know whether these people had uh, uh, SEBI sanctions or RBI sanctions because there were many, many such um, companies operating in the market, for instance, Rose Valley. And they had approached me for a film. Ultimately, I didn't get to make it. But many other directors did make these films. Uh, a very good film called Shobdo was made by Rose Valley. Gautam Ghosh's Monir Manush was made by Rose Valley. So one doesn't, uh, one doesn't really know, I mean, exactly what is happening behind the scenes. Okay, you're saying one didn't know what was happening behind the scenes. But while you were working there, you're saying you had no inkling. I know that you talked about how your own checks and your own payments began to bounce as well at one point. Yeah, yes. Yes. So did that not give yes. you a sense of you something see, we, being we all were, right? We were afraid. Yes. Uh, yes, absolutely. They, they kept saying, oh, please, please hold on. We'll pay you. We'll pay you. We're going through a cash crunch. We will pay you. And sometimes the payments would come. Checks would bounce. Then they would be paid up. Uh, you know, one felt bad. But, you know, if, if there is a problem with the management, one tries to negotiate and tries to res resolve it. One doesn't stop bringing out the magazine because you have a loyalty to the reader. You don't stop bringing out the magazine. I mean, I could have quit. I could have said I'm resigning. But I didn't do that simply because the magazine had to be brought out and also because this, uh, the uh, livelihoods of the entire team depended on me. Right. So, ma'am, looking back on this entire on situation, mm -hmm. on the, on, mm -hmm. do you regret having joined this group at all? Yes, I do. I don't regret having edited Poruma because we had made it into a very beautiful magazine. And it had won a lot of acclaim and we we had begun to bring in a lot of advertisements. And uh, we had quite a uh, appreciative readership. But uh, I do regret, uh, you know, I do re regret having joined uh, Sharada Printing and Publications. Right, Aparna I do Sen. regret that, yes. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time. Uh, mistakes and lessons learnt, I suppose, for the future as well. But all the very best uh, with <laughs> your next project. Thank you very much for being on Left, Right and Centre tonight.